Hey everybody, my name's uh, Brad. I'm another one of uh, Jover's racing buddies. Uh, when I found out I had the opportunity to perform at this roast for Jover, it was sort of a dream come true. Um, I spent five years waiting to say what I really feel. Speak up, speak up. Uh, but first, you know, I woke up this morning and I had a little bit of a moral dilemma. I realized the uh, USC Ohio State game was tonight. Uh, you know, I didn't have tickets. However, uh, had I, I probably still would have came here. Uh, watching it on TV at home was still pretty tempting. Uh, but Jover's such a good friend, I decided to make it here anyway. My cable going out had absolutely nothing to do with that decision. <laughs> uh, when I realized that uh, Jover had scheduled uh, this little get together in conflict with the USC game, I wondered how a huge mistake could happen. Uh, I mean, scheduling something like this four months in advance, you think you know what was going on today. But, uh, yeah, things happen, right? Would you like to know the score, Brad? I would. Would you have it? Yeah. Final 35 to 3. Go and see. Yes, sir. <laughs> Woo! Uh, before I share my feelings about the birthday boy, I'd like to spend a little bit of time bashing those that no-showed and therefore cannot defend themselves this evening. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Diego Morales, unfortunately, couldn't make it here tonight. Uh, he was busy organizing a mob of racers with torches and rope outside Drum 01, uh, <laughs> mumbling something about Raul Serna and race directing, I'm not really sure. Uh, don't worry though, you'll all be able to read about it in a long-winded account uh, from Diego's point of view via his blog available on his website, uh, <laughs> www.dromo1.com. <laughs> Jober's racing teammate is also uh, absent this evening, Clement Ng. Uh, apparently, Jober's fondly won what Efren has referred to for some time as the battle for Asian supremacy in the karting world. Uh, Steve Clink also couldn't make it. Oh, wait. I think I said the top of his head over that. Are <laughs> uh, you, Steve? Yeah. I said it right there. Steve Clink. Um, and then Efren couldn't be here. Uh, but most of us have heard him talk way too much anyway, so we don't really care about that. Yep. <laughs> now on to the uh, birthday boy. Uh, Jober, as witnessed by that delightful slideshow, has an array of hobbies and passions. Uh, for those of you that couldn't count the number of different race suits that he owns, don't worry, we stopped trying to. Uh, I had the pleasure of going to the shooting range with Jober and actually purchased a, uh, a handgun from him. Uh, just my small contribution in the effort to peacefully disarm him. <laughs> Jobert actually, uh, actually let me play with that big gun of his. Um, no, that is, uh, that is not a metaphor. So. <laughs> Torsten has also begged Jobert to play with that big gun several times. That one is a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> Big guns, race cars, speed skating. Why don't you do what every normal person does who's trying to overcome sight and just buy a sports car? <laughs> Corvette. Corvette. <laughs> In all seriousness, seriousness, I make fun of Efren, or I make fun of Joe because I love you, man. Um, whether it's trips to Phoenix at 5 a.m., trackside at the races, or drunk at 10 a.m. at Long Beach Grand Prix. <laughs> oh. Or was that just me? <laughs> Uh, it's always a good time to do it around, man. Happy birthday. I now have a, a short reading prepared uh, by Efren Olivares, who couldn't be here tonight. Um, I'd like you all to note that the views and opinions expressed here are that of the author, uh, but still probably reflect what all Jover's racing friends really think. <laughs> A collection of thoughts and short memories about Jober Velasco by Efren Oliveris. This no profanity rule is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry that I can't be here on this evening in Billy's fantastic restaurant to celebrate uh, Jober's 57th birthday. <laughs> but my work keeps me in Northern California on this weekend. I'm bummed that I'm not in that room with all of you who are friends of Jober. Half of you think you are race car drivers, 
half of you think you're figure skaters, and Joe really believes that all of you are his friends. <laughs> Hopefully you've all set him straight by this point. Out of curiosity, does anybody know how old Joe is turning? I mean, I know his temple to chant Car Kelly says, aka his MySpace page, but come on, he's not 27. Look at him, he acts like he's at least 50. <laughs> In fact, I know there are 50-year-olds in this room that act younger than Jover. <laughs> Look at Bill Myers. <laughs> he's older than Dirk, but still acts like he's 10. <laughs> Jover looks like he's 10, but acts older than Dirt. <laughs> Speaking of his temple to Shankar Kelly, here's a collection of quotes from his MySpace page. I collect antibacterial hand soaps from Bath & Body Works because they smell good. <laughs> Except for vanilla, it's way too strong. <laughs> it is. <laughs> no, I'm disagreeing with you, buddy. <laughs> Favorite movies, Driven and Hairspray. Don't laugh, it's a great movie. <laughs> Here I am driving race cars. Efren questions, really? You drive race cars? <laughs> I'm a general jack of all trades and a master of few. Indeed. <laughs> That's probably all the Jober bashing I should give to one guy. I mean, with, with his birthday and all. Jober, as unique and quirky as you may be, has become one of the very few good friends of mine in this world, and I've often pondered how that could be. I mean, outside of racing, we have absolutely nothing in common. <laughs> but those of you who might not understand the power of racing need look no further than the room full of gearheads here to understand what racing can mean to someone's life. I can count on meeting a good friend and a good guy, like my 57-year-old buddy Jover, <laughs> because we share a common passion for racing. I mean, take a pull of all the racers in that room. None of us would ever have had the chance to meet and know each other if it weren't for racing. And how dull would that have been? Without racing, Jover and I might have never traveled together to the dozens of racing events or so we've attended together in the past three years. And I can just imagine all the fun we would have missed out on. Whether it's making fun of Nelly for his lack of pigment, <laughs> getting into fights with Austrians and Germans at the Under Car World Championship, yep. or having a meal at Burger Time USA after yet another failed attempt at go-kart racing glory in our matching road tax cards. Things that just seem to be more fun when Jover's there for the ride. And I'd like to add safer too, since he's packing heat and I tend to talk my way into trouble. <laughs> and I realize the irony in saying this, since I'm not there with you tonight, the happy birthday celebrations are always always about the people who are there and not about the people who aren't. Happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday. Thank you.